Hello guys, hopefully you guys are having a good weekend, or had a good weekend rather. Staying away from the, you know, ice storms that are sweeping across the U.S. I guess if you're in Florida, somewhere out west, you don't have to worry about it. But out here it's getting quite cold. Oh, I figure out, since my internet is back to working, I figure out I'll take the Gladiator out. One well, of my favorite ships. Definitely need some love from CIG. But take the Gladiator out and we'll do for some more HRT missions to raise a rep so we can get ERT and for and a group HRT missions as well. Love the Gladiator. Um, definitely needs the rework. But you know what though? Not rework reader, just an update. Be nice to get rid of that bubble canopy. And um um actually the whole bubble canopy and all that if you guys want a good background i mean amazing lore video about the gladiator um astro historian has absolutely excellent video about the gladiator and why the gladiator exists the fake missile program and all that stuff really really cool watch so definitely check that out if you gladiator yeah let's take this baby out i haven't flown it in a while i always enjoyed it in atmosphere, flight characteristics are not the greatest by far. We're gonna turn the ship on today. Let's see. What do we got here? Yes. We got a four size five missiles. Excellent. Alright, yeah, let's see. You know, last time we came up and it was like either like the Gladiator or, uh, not Gladiator, I'm sorry, Reclaimer or Valkyrie. And Valkyrie, I think, took more than one head out of a size 5. I guess size 5, that's a torpedo at that point. But let's get on with this. And let's go find and see what we can do with size 5s. Always looks so good. Look at that. That's so cool. Actually, Gladiator is pretty awesome ship. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, uh, probably the ship that I will never see myself getting rid of. But you know, nah, not really. Um, I think I will always kind of have this ship around. All right, let's do. Oh. Better lag today. Nah, right, let's get out of here. Hopefully, no more audio glitches like we had on the last video. I'll say lately, flying felt just a little off, or maybe I'm just not used to it. But some feels dip, some feels weird. Ah, right, or maybe I've been flying with master modes for way too long. So I've been popping in into. I mean, a commander and just flying in, and I'm just gonna get not used to the current flight model, I guess. Eh, but let's see what we can do. I mean, we got four size fives, we got decent amount of HP, we got some missiles too. We'll be okay. And these HRT, more importantly, these HRT missions around here, around Everest Harbor. Um, like decent cash. I mean, it's cost effective with Eclipse and size 9 rearming because, you know, you can get 3 done. You make about 35-36k. Cost you about 10 or less to rearm. Uh, 3 size 9s. So you're still making money. So we can manage to down at least 3 um, bounties with our loadout will be... Doing even better than an eclipse, really. Man, flying into the sun is just brutal. Um, so we'll be I mean you definitely come out ahead on credits as long as we don't crash don't crash into a big rock in here. Alright. Enough, enough fooling around, let's go. Let's pay attention here. So we actually Make it through. You know, flying into these rocks here with the sun in your eyes. Not the most 
There we go, that's a little better. All I hope, I know they're reworking the star map and the flight models, Quadrant 42 getting polished, whatever. Well, not whatever, it's it's great, actually. Um, it looks like it's slated to release next year, maybe. Um, well, probably. But man, I wish they would do something with visibility. Night vision especially, the um, airport visibility or spaceport visibility on planets needs work. I mean, we have airports right now I'm flying to all the time. Clearly marked, even little airports in the middle of the field are clearly marked. You can see them, they got lights. You can turn on airport lights with, you know, by pushing your radio uh, uh, um, button in a certain combination. Even in the middle of nowhere, you can do that. And here, we can't good, get, get good lighting for, you know, busy spaceports. So I hope they get to it soon where, um, you know, especially visibility at night during combat on the planets, visibility, when you land. I mean, we need those improved bad, I think, especially for new players as well. All right, what do we got here? We're going to start off with, yeah, let's maximize our earning potential here. Or we got a sigh. No. Not the dude. Why is AI acting so weird? Drake Cutlass Black. Okay, well, I got good luck. Firing. Oh, no. Did I fire into the rock? No, I didn't. Hell. Like, no depth perception. Of course, I fired into the rock. And they are crushing into the rock. Okay. Alright, I don't know what you guys are doing. You know, AI's been acting weird lately. Yeah, well, I'm out. I'm not interested. I got my bounty. I'm not really trying to stand there and expand my arsenal further. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, there we go. Now the HRT. Hey, I just been acting kind of stupid lately. I don't know what that's all about. I mean, la last video we had, AI literally was running into the ground, killing themselves. So, seems like last over Christmas it was cool, but seems like in the last two weeks, well, at least a week, because I haven't got a chance to play a lot last week. Um. Ship AI is acting just stupid. Um, I noticed like lock on different distances are shorter. AI is acting erratic till you get about 33 kilometers away from them, then they kind of engage you. I don't know, just weird behavior. And you know, if I can't tell if they're behind the rock and I fire a missile behind the rock, you know, that's. I guess that's on me. Alright, let's travel here. Guess we're not lucky enough to get a quantum marker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, so I guess we'll hoof it. Boy, oh. went here. What's wrong with you? Nah. But that should be relatively quick. Still, Gladiator is pretty cool ship. Don't, don't see them used a lot. But man, especially if you get two players, don't sleep on this ship. This ship is actually really cool. Wow, the OG. I mean, we'll definitely see this ship in Squadron 42. At least I hope we do. I know it's all Gladius and... Um, Hornet and Hornet MK2, but we should see, we should see the, the Gladiator as well, since, you know, the squadrons were pretty instrumental with the, you know, war with Van Duel. Anyhow, I'm going to pause this for a bit till we get closer, and we'll be right back. I know we have a little bit of ways to go, but I always get a kick out of these Atmo re-entry. Look at that, isn't that cool? 
I love it. I know, I know it's you see it every time, but man, it's still it's still kind of cool. A lot better than a loading screen, huh? In a game that I'll not talk about. Ah, I guess we're not that far away. We gotta slow this baby down because um, Gladiator handles like. A brick with a chain tied to it in the atmosphere. So anything above SCM, it is literally no bueno. And a gladiator in Atmo. Yeah, but if they can give us modularity right there on the top, because there used to be an a core, you know, and um during the Vendul War or whenever the Gladiator came out, instead of these the pod with the torpedoes. There was a medical rescue pod, a cargo pod. This pod on the bottom can be technically swapped out for different modules. So man, if they if we get that, that would actually be really, really cool in the gladiator. But I'm guessing that might be introduced. Well, A, CIG needs to actually make a gold pass on a gladiator. And B, the whole modular system needs to be in the game. You know, that's when a retaliator will be module, maybe um Aurora and a couple of other um, ships that will have modularity, so that would be cool. That would be cool to see. Let's see, is this AI gonna kill himself too? What's he doing? Wow, he is hauling ass. What's this AI doing? Holy shit, he is moving. Oh, and you guys see this? This is this is weird. Look at that. They're all... What are they doing? What the fuck? What exactly is going on there? They... What is... Want to waste the metal? Bro, I'm just gonna get him like this. I'm gonna regret my choice, but this AI is acting weird. Should be able to take him. Oh, come on, I hate the dueling. The jousting back and forth. Stupid fight model. He is acting so weird. I should almost have him though. Alright, the ships are just behaving. Very, very weird. At least I think they do. Shit. Oh, I hate Jousting. I really, really do hate Jousting. I 
should manage my power better, but I almost got this one. Got one. What are you doing? Oh my god, what is this trash? So weird. This is the most bizarre. I'm gonna try to strafe with him. But this AI, I mean, I got him almost next to nothing. What's he doing? What are those two ships doing? I have no idea what. Thank God. Get out of here. Okay, let's so uh, let's go find something else. That was bizarre. Okay, give me another one. Sure. And another one. Let's turn up the sound. I think no, we actually Well, okay, why can I Ask her close enough. I'll fly there, then we'll fly from there. Yeah, with well, the way that ship was behaving, I really didn't want to waste. Didn't really want to waste missiles on there because that was that acted like it was not gonna hit with my luck. I can't tell where I'm going. I'm not there. Okay, please tell me we got a quantum thing somewhere further. 740. No, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. How about we go here? That's funny though, the ones in Atmo, you do have, not nah, the one in space you have a quantum market for, but not the ones in Atmo. That's kind of weird. Just the little things. Wow, well, we're not that, that far away. Alright, let's go actually see. What I mean, is it me or AI is acting weird as hell? Maybe it's just me, I guess. But I think they're acting weird. Alright, let's see how this goes. Yeah, kind of like... High glue gladiator, the, the bubble canopy. The third kind of looks like an afterthought because, you know, it really was. It kind of was there to give more utility to the gladiator after the whole um, fake stealth missile thingy with the uae but i wish why why am i standing still weird there we go cool looking ship though looks pretty cool and honestly like if you on a hrt kind of stage and whatever it's it's not a bad way to farm Arm easy credits, honestly. Yeah, you make more credits, cargo running, all that stuff. Um, but um, it's kind of enjoyable too, and really, especially right now, really kind of a low risk, to be honest with you. I mean, not really risking anything, and. If you go, you get one bounty done, and the next, and the next, you're not risking your whole cargo, cargo load of stuff, and there goes your one or two hours of work. So, I mean, it's a relatively 
laid back way to, and I, I love doing bounties anyway, but it's relatively laid back way to earn some credits, especially to get like HRTs in the system right here where you can actually see stuff and it's not bad. I don't, I don't mind it for a quick credit run. It's actually decent. Nah, let us get closer here. All right, we're getting closer here. And I was just thinking, you know, like you can compare some other fighter jets in the game to different counterparts in real world. And to me, Gladiator has always been basically like F-15, like F-15 East Strike Eagle equivalent. You know, not really good in a dogfight, you know, one, one, one circle at best, but it, it's fast, it's a bomb truck, you know, it's there to haul bombs, it's, a, you know, great payload, so-so, not really great dogfight, I mean, it can, but, I mean, over, over the horizon, yes, in a turn fight, not really, but to me, I was equated the gladiator with kind of f-15 f-15 strike eagle really at least kind of in my mind it always reminded me reminded me on f-15 maybe f-14 but f-15 is one of my favorite planes so i'm kind of biased all right we got a warden so i'm thinking we will definitely hit him with a size five And hopefully, as soon as we get a lock, let's fire. And why is he already getting damaged? What's going on there? Fire about nine. Let's see if we get a reliable hit. Really? Wow. Do we give him two more missiles? I guess we could. Wow. Good for the warden. Really? How many missiles are you gonna eat? Oh, that was that's that was not good luck at all. I guess we are dog fighting, huh? Wow, the server, it is so... Okie dokie. That answers that. I don't know why the server drops fr frames right away, but that was a... That was an expensive... I don't want, really want to waste that many missiles on him. But that's okay. Technically, we can at least get two more bounties done, so we'll go do that. Alright, let's see. Oh, give me another HRT. There we go. Cool. Alright, what are we looking at here? Of course, it's gonna be Never can be that close. Why? Wow, the server performance is really bad. That's pretty crazy. Getting such low frames, it's... Man. There we go. Oh, screw it. Let's go around the panel. We'll just stop it. But um, I don't know if it's just server performance right now or what, but frame rate drop is pretty significant, especially once you get close. But at least we're making a little bit of credits. And I get to fly Gladiator around. Yeah, kind of, kind of curious to see if they actually will have the modules 
for the gladiator. I think it's gonna be pretty. I mean, my 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 like all of, all of a sudden they come out with a medical variant. That might not be a bad option for. You know. That might not be a bad option for something quick. Get in, get out, and get your, and rescue somebody. I mean, I'm I'm all for ships having more utility, especially with a pot like this. And you actually, I mean, if you trade, if you're trading off four size five torpedoes for medical bay, I mean, that's a fair trade off. I mean, really. All right, at least this one is in space. Oh. Oh, we got two left. Two left. All right, what do we got here? There he is. Again, in the rocks. Well, let's not fire a missile into a rock this time, huh? Probably should slow it down just a little. I always thought this debris pulled from it's like space station or something was cool. Treacherous, but cool. All right. Come on. All right, not firing into Hopefully. No guarantees. And looks like it might be... Uh, probably go a little lower. Oh, we are starting the party early. Freelancer, huh? Can't tell. And low content. Can't tell. He is behind. Looks like he might be behind the door. I have a reliable lock. I'm gonna fire at six. And let's do. There we go. He's moving now. Let's see if it tracks. Should. Oh, wow. Really? That was, that was weird. Okay, I'm out. Yeah, 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 good luck. Not happening. Yeah, nope. Crystal still chasing me. Oh, yeah, it is. Ah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's get us another, another one since we got missiles. I mean, hell, we're making, we're making pretty good money actually. Let's see. And where's this one is? Kind of running out of ordnance, but my God, this is, has been good return on investments, honestly. And gladiators decently fast to get away from stuff, so not bad. I could take a punch or two. Overall, I really kind of like this shit. Plus, it looks cool. Look at that, that's awesome. The cockpit is nice and clean. 
All right, there we go. Oh, um, looks like it's gonna. Be, this one's gonna be at night, boys. Oh well, we got lucky so far. And it's gonna be. And. Ow. I always kind of like the exposed weapon hard points and stuff. Like I said, very reminiscent for me to an F 15 E Strike Eagle. Now, oh, looks like we're gonna have to hoof it a bit to get here, but that's okay. Alright. Yeah. What do we got here? Nothing closer. Oh, well, I guess we're hand flying this. That's all right. All right. Be back shortly. All right. Well, that took a bit. And, yep, we are doing this at night. And I know. Probably just have enough ordnance left for one bounty, especially with how your dog fighting is tonight. Uh, let's see. We can make something happen. What do we got for inventory? We got two, three size twos, and one size five. Eh. I mean, we shall see how this goes. Yeah, about one more. One more should be good. We made a, a decent amount of money. Nah, but let's open up with a party favor of one size five. I was surprised last time that one size five did not take out that Harbinger. Um, the Vanguard, I mean. Yeah. Usually, usually that's enough, especially, if, uh, and also for a freelancer, too. But I guess there is always a possibility that they, you know, AI is now tries to shoot at those. So, we'll see. I mean, we'll try it again. Let's see how the, how this target behaves here. Because I can't see a thing at all. I like that actually red and green, like on a real aircraft. That's kind of cool. Alright, what have we got here? Another cutlass, cool. So that means I'll need like four size five to bring. Oh, another weirdness here. What is going on? What are you doing? Should I fire? Should I not fire? I don't know what this guy is doing. And why is he already damaged? What is going on today? Ah, screw it. Let's see. Oh, now I lost a damn lot. What? Oh. But they haven't lost a lot. So that's cool. And now I lost the targeting. Too. What is going on today? And that's gonna miss. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Get some separation. And we are in Atmo, so that's gonna be dark up here. And let's go fight him, I guess. All right, what do we got here? This is so weird. All right. It's like, uh, it's like fighting in PowerPoint here. Like, I literally... Oh, my God, look at these frame rates. What am I supposed to do with this? Honestly. I mean, there's nothing I can do. Jesus Christ. Like. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Like, how much. What am I doing? 
I gotta get out of here. I literally cannot control this. What in the world? Oh, I'm gonna crash into the ground. Okay. Yeah, what what was that? I don't I don't know what is wrong with the servers today. But that's, this is ridiculous. Wow. Well, you know what though? We were out of ornament. The only thing we had was a flight suit. We didn't really lose much, so all in all, that's not bad. I mean, I'm not that I'm not that upset about this. I mean, I kind of want to get that bounty done. But I also, I'm not going to stress. Well. Okay. I guess we'll take the Harbinger out really quick. That is so weird. Yeah, let's take the Harbinger. Why not? I mean, I could, it's, it's, it's literally like fighting in a power port. What is going on here? All servers acting so laggy. Wow. Eh, maybe it's not a good idea. But let's, let's try it. What hanger? They definitely um, need to fix that, needless to say. All right, Harbinger, let's go. Hopefully the missile actually gets... Oh, no. My greatest enemy is the door of the Harbinger. No? Why are you being, why are you being so difficult? There we go. This right here, that's such bullshit. The hell is that? Gonna open the door? What is this? Okie dokie. Let's go. No? There we go. Okay, what do we got here? There we go. That's what we need. I mean, you guys can, you guys can see, you guys can see what uh how poorly this was performing, right? It was just me. Oh, I should not even fly out. I don't know what is wrong. I mean, this is literally like PowerPoint. All right, well, let's go try. Ugh. Oh, this is stupid. Now. I can't play like this. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna end this th thing here because... I mean, look at that. I mean, th th this is not... Yeah, can't do it. <laughs> Alright, guys. We'll have to grind some more bounties later on. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good week. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Hopefully with a uh, little better performing servers. Take care.